it's one of the most challenging jobs faced by any UN peacekeeping mission. They are tasked to maintain law and order in Cote d'Ivoire, the country suffering so much from the political stalemate which followed the presidential election. At least 10 peacekeepers have been injured, some seriously, by supporters of Logo Bagbo, who is refusing to give power to Alassane Ouattara despite his election victory. It makes our work extremely difficult because you are attacked sometimes by direct fire, your civilian personnel are threatened, and sometimes their residences are raided by the, uh, by the, uh, by the thugs. The top priority of the UN peacekeeping mission's 8,000 strong force is to protect civilians. But caught in the middle of what's become a political minefield, they've been forced to make their patrols from inside armed personnel carriers. We need a reinforcement. So we'll soon have 2,000 uh, additional uh, blue helmets. We already have three armed helicopters which we are going to use for the protection of civilians mostly. At least 10% of UN forces are engaged in protecting just one man. More than 800 UN peacekeepers have been deployed just at the Gulf Hotel, now home to Alassane Ouattara, Cote d'Ivoire's internationally recognized president. He's been holed up here for the past three months and his hotel is surrounded by pro Bagbo forces. Almost all his needs are catered for by the UN. It's a role many object to. They are playing a negative role in our country. They are a threat to civilians. They should leave immediately. But that is not going to happen so long as civilians are still in danger. Their mission will end only when the conflict and political crisis that brought them to the Côte d'Ivoire are finally resolved. Mohamed Ado Al Jazeera, Abidjan.